Hello, I'm Bridget Ellis and I'm glad to present our paper on co-designing an experience sampling method platform for young people with lived experience of self-harm. Self-harm is particularly prevalent among young people with several adverse outcomes including unemployment and poor mental health in adulthood. Understanding self-harm is essential to be able to predict and prevent the behaviour However, data regarding self-harm is typically collected retrospectively, which is prone to bias such as recall bias. The experience sampling method, which I will call ESM, is a group of techniques involving the frequent measurement of participants within their daily lives. For example, asking about self-reported mood or thoughts of self-harm throughout the day. ESM can help to overcome challenges in self-harm research by providing more ecologically valid data. Our study aimed to explore the design requirements of both young people with lived experience of self-harm and researchers for a digital ESM platform. We conducted co-design workshops with 14 young people and five researchers. Each young person attended three workshops, each with a different activity. The prototype created of young people can be seen here. We identified three key themes from the workshops of young people. The first was privacy and security. Participants were not concerned about smartphones tracking data generally, however this was a concern if they were being tracked on sensitive data such as self-harm. For example, one young person said, when it's talking about some quite personal stuff, you get a bit worried the phone knows where you are, so who else has access to this? And I think it's just because the topic around self-harm is quite a difficult subject for many. The second theme was impact on daily life. Young people concerned about the commitment ESM may entail, with a young person stating, it sounds like quite a big commitment to have to take every so often out of your day to answer loads of questions. I don't know if many people would actually want to do that. Finally, a theme of app design indicated that an app must be easy to use and fit into young people's everyday lives. Personalisation was considered really important, reporting it puts the young person fully in control of when they can and when they don't want to answer. The researcher workshops revealed that researchers also require control and flexibility in an ESM platform. Researchers raised concerns about the requirements of young people. For example, when discussing young people's requirement to have control over the frequency and schedule of questions, a researcher stated, I can see it being a nice thing to have for the participant, but for the researcher it could be a bit of a nightmare trying to compare the data between participants. Our findings provide insights into the requirements of young people with lived experience of self-harm and researchers for an ESM platform. We highlight ethical considerations and conflicting requirements between these two groups. Our future work seeks to explore the extent to which the design of an ESM platform could resolve the different requirements of these two groups.